Similar in appearance to the Sumatran tiger, the Yavan tiger was native to the Indonesian island of Java. In the 1800s, they were so common they were considered pests by island natives. As the human population increased, large parts of the island were cultivated, leading to severe reduction of their natural habitat. Wherever man moved in, the Yavan tigers were ruthlessly hunted down or poisoned. The last track count to yield evidence of the tigers was held in 1979, when just three tigers were identified. The first record of the golden toad was by herpetologist Jay Savage in 1966. This fluorescent amphibian was found in the high altitude ridges of Costa Rica, but thanks to pollution, global warming and fungal skin infections, the species became extinct in 1989. In 1987, out of potential 30,000 toads, only 29 had survived. In 1988, only 8 males and 2 females could be located. In 1989, a single male was found. This was the last record of the species. Extensive searches since this time have failed to produce any more records of the golden toad. Pyrenean ibex has one of the more interesting stories among extinct animals, since it was the first species to ever be brought back into existence via cloning, only to go extinct again just 7 minutes after being born due to a lung failure. The Pyrenean ibex was native to the Pyrenees, a mountain range in Andorra, France and Spain. Its situation had been critical since the beginning of the 20th century, when it was estimated that the Pyrenean population in Spain numbered only about 100 individuals. Hunting of the ibex caused the animal's numbers to seriously dwindle, and conservationists blamed the Spanish government for failing to act in time to save it. The majestic West African black rhino was declared extinct in 2006, after conservationists failed to find any in their last remaining habitat in Cameroon. The West African black rhino was one of four subspecies of rhinoceros. Poachers hunted the rhino for its horn, which was believed by some in Yemen and China to possess aphrodisical powers. The Zanzibar leopard made its home on the Zanzibar archipelago of Tanzania. It's still unclear whether this large cat is technically extinct. There are still occasional unconfirmed sightings. Locals believed that leopards were kept by witches and therefore aggressively hunted them down. The animals were seen as evil predators that had to be exterminated. Even the government was in on the campaign. In the mid-90s, there was a short-lived conservation effort, but it was deemed too late. 